Hey guys, how's it going? So today we're talking about Instagram. So in a previous video right here, I talked about five apps that will enhance your Instagram in general. I'll put that video in the description and in the end cards. However, today, since the average user is actually now spending more time consuming stories rather than the Instagram feed, we're going to be talking about five apps that will help to improve the storying process. So two things are important when we're talking about Instagram stories. One, we want to create awesome differentiated content that separates us from the average user. However, number two, we don't want to invest a ton of time creating these because at the end of the day, they're going to disappear and we want to create new ones tomorrow. So we need to find the balance between creating great and creating often. All right, that brings us to app number one and that is don't be boring and be really funny. Uh, just kidding, there's not an app for that. Oh wait, maybe there is, there's an app for everything, what do I know? Okay, app number one for real, and this is the app I actually wanna spend the most time on because I think it's really important. And it is called InShot. So when I was looking for the best video editor for your phone, I spent money on various apps, just looking for one with a simple video editor, you'd add music, and you can color grade. Now when I finally found InShot, I was stoked, and the best part, it's free. Well, there is a watermark, but I have a sneaky way around that. I'll show you later. Okay, so since cameras all have Wi-Fi or at least some sort of pairing system now, dropping clips from your DSLR, your drone, your GoPro to your phone has never been easier. So let's say you're in transit, you just came back from a shoot or a hike, waterfall, and you don't have your laptop. Now is the perfect time to edit a quick sequence on your phone. Let me give you an example. Here are four nice nature clips, which I shot vertically on my DSLR and drone, keeping in mind, of course, that Instagram is designed for vertical video. Let's trim them down to at least three or four seconds each. If you want to slow down or speed up your clips, you can easily do so right here. Now, I can add music from a nice little selection here that the app has provided. I particularly like this artist, as her stuff is like, really ambient and fits well with drone and slow-mo type vibes. Then here's the color grading. The color grading options are super simple with the contrast, saturation, various options like fading. So they're pretty intuitive. Just apply those. And once you want to apply one color grade to all clips, you just select the double check mark right here. And voila, that easy. We have ourselves a nice little sequence of some clips from the drone and the DSLR. Here you go, I'm just gonna play that 15 second sequence for you and you can have an idea of some of the off clips that I didn't use for my shoot, but I wanted to show you some of the beautiful areas of the waterfall that I shot here in Bali. All right, that brings us to app number two and app number two is called Hyperlapse and it's actually made by Instagram. Now this app is similar to the time-lapse app in the iOS camera. However, it's better for two reasons. Number one, it stabilizes the footage automatically in post-processing, which is awesome. And two, after you finish filming the clip, you can select just how fast you want the hyperlapse to be or time-lapse from two times to 12 times. That's way better than the built-in iOS app, which you can't choose how fast you want it at all. This app is great for when you want to show time passing. For example, you're in a car, you're in a plane hitting the tarmac, or you just want to show something that's elapsed over a long period of time in a quick video. The difference between hyperlapse and time-lapse is in a hyperlapse, the camera is moving. In a time-lapse, the camera is fixed in one spot. So number one thing to watch out for when using the app is not to move the camera around a lot or turn a lot of corners because when you speed it up, the viewer will become dizzy and confused and not know what's going on. All right, that brings us to app number three and it's a pretty popular app and it is used to animate text and it's called Hype Type. Now this is used quite often, but I wanna show you how I use it. For example, I have a screenshot of my YouTube page. I wanna encourage people to swipe up and watch the video. So when the text comes in animated, it fades out the background and really puts an emphasis 
on the call to action. So just a warning for when you should not use this animated type text, and that's for when you have a nice photo or video that you want your viewers to watch, and really an animated or moving text is gonna take away from that photo or video. You really only want to use this when you have a bland or boring background, and you really wanna put emphasis on the text. <clears throat> so yeah, don't overuse it, but it can be pretty cool if used in the right way. All right, that brings me to the next app, and I'm sure that you've heard of this or at least seen it in some stories, and that is Unfold. Now this is nothing new. This has been on the internet for a long period of time. However, I just wanted to remind you of the purpose of this app. It was designed to be an aesthetic, minimal, stylish looking addition to your stories, which some people have turned into this mishmash and confusing array of this huge collage and way too many things going on in one story. Sometimes less is more, so let the photo or the video do the talking. So here's an example of Unfold used well, and here's an example of it overused. All right, so this brings me to the last app, and it's actually not an app at all, it's just an update that's happened in Instagram. So when you have a text or a question box on your story, you can use the eyedropper tool to match the colors, or you can press and hold the colors and select any color from the gradient, which is pretty cool and handy. And also, here's one last future hack that Instagram is slowly rolling out. It's a built-in clip splitter that seamlessly cuts your videos into 15 second segments so that you don't have to use third-party apps. So soon we can say goodbye to Cut Story and do it so much faster right in the app. So some people actually have it already. Let me know if you have it because I don't have it yet, but I am looking forward to it. It will speed up the process. All right, that wraps it up for today's video. I hope that you download and use some of the apps we talked about today because I use them a lot. I find them super helpful. I hope you do too. So yeah, like, comment, subscribe, do all that good stuff, and we'll see you next Monday. Peace.